zone, yet your comfort zone is in Panama. That's yes, your sir. home. It is. Huge decision a couple of years ago for you to make to leave Panama mm -hmm. to come to the United States. I'd love to know how you come to that realization. It was, you know, it was a decision me and my family made. Um, you know, any other kid at a young age, 16, or you know, being a free agent and wanting to sign on July 2nd, it was, you know, a dream was when I was, you know, 12 years old. I mean, then, you know, me and family got into talks about it and, and how it's going to benefit me. You know, we really wanted to be, like, my family, so my, my parents were, like, school first type of parents. So we talked about it and, then I, you know, I heard a lot about, you know, the draft and all about, like, how beneficial it is to go to the U.S. and, you know, get an education and, you know, play the game at the same time. I thought it was awesome. You know, I'm thankful for it. I'm, you know, I'm definitely not taking it for granted. Hold play partner. Hey, go here, here, easy. Here you go. So getting warm up before the game. Big tournament coming up. You now working really hard. Can you visually see yourself in a major league stadium? Can you ever do you do you ever have that dream? Can you Go see yourself playing in the major leagues? You know, it, was, it sounds crazy right now. Yesterday I had a dream that I was playing in the big leagues. And you know, it's crazy and then just to see myself in the major league field and you know, I had the chance with perfect game to go to San Diego and play the position over there. Doesn't get any better than that. Doesn't get any better than that. Being there, just standing out there at shore, you look over, you look around, you are like, you know, I'm, you know, I'm right here when a lot of bunch of players play here. You know, big time. You know, a lot of talented shorts will play here. Addison Russell, Lindora, they play here, and you know, see yourself there, it's just great. I mean, I, you know, I'm working really hard to hopefully accomplish that. Give me some keys that you would get me loosened up and some things with hands and feet and head, things that are important for a shortstop, teach me. All right, basically, if you want to be a shortstop, you have to be able to move. You have to be have good, good footwork, big time. Footwork has to be your priority. So basically what I like to do is, you know, before practice, before I game, get my feet working, you know, get a little ground balls and try, you know, get around the ball and, you know, get my footwork working. You know, if you want to play and you want to stay there at short, you have to have good footwork and you have to be able to, you know, move lateral movements and, you know, get, get your feet going. Your good first steps means those plays are really hard plays, diving plays. All, it all depends on how good you do your first step. And then you stay, we say the ball on the left side of your body. You stay on the left side of your body because any bad hop, you're going to be able to get it on your chest and it's going to finish on the right in front. If you catch it by here, then the ball is going to go that way. You're going to be able to back it up. So you go, you catch it on your left side. So the ball, see, the bad hop, the ball's right there. You got time, you can pick it up, got him first. I like, really like to get behind the ball. I try to get there as fast as possible so I can get behind the ball. Get behind, I can have my momentum to go to first. So my truck can carry, carry a little bit more. I can make it over there. So just a little bit over there. So you go one, two, you go behind the ball. You go over there, so your momentum takes you, so it's easier for you to throw the first. Back behind the back. Yeah, behind the back is basically your momentum. So you go, you hear the sound, you go the same one, two, and then you react that way. Try to be, have a rhythm. When you're short, you have to have a rhythm. You have to be, you time your own pitch here. You know, you time your, your pre-pitch preparation, you time it, so you can get ready to get the ball. So you go, one, two, and you react, you get behind it, and you set your body looking that way. So. You kind of go on the semicircle, so you can get your body behind it. You can make a good throw, make the play happen. So, you know, defense is something I take really, I'm really proud of my, my defense. I'm, I take it 100% serious, just like hitting, but you know, defense is something you have to work every single day, no matter what happens.